or week of what sold on eBay. The only difference was this week, for the first three days, I was suspended first three days of the week. Um, you Monday, it wasn't really... It was Monday morning that it happened, but it wasn't like a full suspension. Tuesday, Wednesday, it definitely was. Um, and I and I say that because when you clicked on um, clicked on and went into my actual store, you could um, on Monday you could still see everything I had listed. When I went in there Tuesday and Wednesday, it only showed the two um, auctions that I had running that are at the, uh, that are at the end here. So. How did I do being banned on eBay for three days? So the first day it was fine. You guys all you guys seen all this um, last week uh, when I showed you when it first happened. So this um, lighthouse uh, very OG set, forty bucks free shipping. Of course it's going to Hawaii and I'm in Buffalo, so that cost about twenty bucks to send. Uh, but I did get positive feedback. Buyer and buyer liked it, so that was good. Um, Buckeye, you know, and then a the couple. Uh, police patches. This is where it ended right here. No, no, no. The Cook County, then Wichita. I'm pretty sure that's where it ended. And then... Or did it keep going? No, it kept going. Um, I don't know if I showed you this. Another St. Anne's Hospital. Um, this sold for eight ninety nine. I'm pretty sure it was. And as you can see, I only got one left now. This has got a lot of watchers on it, that's for sure. Definitely have sent out some offers on it. And then this all cool quit. Uh, county sheriffs in Georgia. I'm pretty sure uh, is where we ended off Monday. I don't know if these were in actually in uh, in the video or if these came in afterwards. But um, for Tuesday, this is the only, I only sold one thing. Uh, this Rapid City, South Dakota, police sold that for 509. And then on Wednesday, I sold the St. Paul, Minnesota, police for 599. So I did still have one thing to send out. On my two days that I was suspended, I had one thing, so that that's nice. I get to got to maintain my uh, record of going to the mailbox every single day. Uh, there's always something going out, which is pretty much to be expected at this rate. Um, I'm coming up on 900 patches, and actually, I still I have probably about a hundred or so that when I was trying to do that um. Uh, the lot, the lots, trying to lot off some of the old inventory. Um, I still have yet to actually relist them, either relist, reconfigure the lots, relist them as lots, or actually go through the painstaking task of relisting them all again. So, um, I still haven't figured out what I'm actually going to do. I think I might put them into smaller lots, um, and try it that way. Let's see if I can get rid of them that way. So, next, coming off of the ban, we had this Boston uh, Engine 56 fired, or Boston Fire Engine 56. Uh, nice big patch. Uh, this sold out on offer 424. Uh, nothing really with that one other than this is def was definitely a big patch. Uh, these next three things sold together, so these two blank um, New York police patches. And then this... Uh, uh, sent New York State Central uh, Police Academy. Uh, six ninety nine on two of them, and then five ninety nine on this one. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, there's a dollar difference between the two because that makes uh, no sense. But all three sold together to a repeat uh, buyer. Uh, next is Northwest Central Dispatch uh, System Emergency Communication Patch. Um, seven ninety nine on that one. I don't know specifically where this area is if this is for a specific area or anything i didn't I didn't do any research i just listed it and called it a day uh byron county georgia fire uh slash emergency services a little uh badge style patch 7.99 on that one and then here is the two or here we'll put them together the two auctions that i had for these um icom two-way radios that I found, got out of the dumpster. Um, I put them. I put the three loose ones that I had together. Um, it was three loose radios, the mounting brackets for each three, the three of them, two mics, and then this little bit of extra wire. Um, that was with. That was uh, I don't know in the pile or whatever. I wasn't the one that pulled them out of the dumpster. Uh, my brother did, so I don't. 
quite know all of what was there. So I put the two, uh, as you can see, so I put, there was four ones that, four that I pulled out of there. This one that looked like it was new in the box, and then these three loose ones with everything I just went over. So I put them to auction, started it out at 40 bucks and put it up for a week see what happened and uh just to see what would happen and as you can see there was two of them that were um ic f1 um uh, 21s and then there was one that was a f5011 uh so like i said went to auction and ended up at 11 100 uh, or uh, a bunch of a bunch of ones um and that's this is going over this is going to oregon to a guy who actually, um, this is what he does, is he rep does, um, play with, uh, two-way radios and all that. I, when I looked up the address, um, it's registered to a business, and I looked up, looked at their website, and that's, that is what they, um, he does is two-way radio, I think two-way radios in specific. So, uh, he'll, uh, be able to definitely get some good use out of them. I did, if you look up the ICOM radios themselves, they're worth about, I'd say about a hundred dollars a piece, just call it a hundred bucks a piece. Uh, you know, if they're working in good condition, I think that's with the mic as well. The mics on their own are worth like 15, 20 bucks. Um, so he definitely got a good deal at a uh, hundred and ten bucks. And I have, um, I have absolutely no idea if they're working or anything, if there's anything wrong with them. That's why their parts are repair. And, um, the guy who won this one was also bidding on these and he lost by 11 cents if you looked at if you go and look up the bids on this you'll see he lost by 11 cents and that was right at the end so <laughs> he lost by 11 cents so i'm sure that was very very annoying to lose by 11 cents but he did win this one because i shot myself in the foot with this one as you can see this one ended at almost two in the morning that was a dumb idea that's um they should have really realistically ended within minutes of each other. I um, was stalling and didn't end up listing this a little bit later. This one also started out at 40 bucks and went up to 71 and he won it. And actually, if you look at the bids as well, uh, I don't actually, I don't know if it'll show it. The last three uh, at the 71 were him. So you could tell he obviously was setting up uh, a higher price. And like I said, this one looked like it was new in box, but I really couldn't verify that but as you can see it looks like it's brand new you know there's the wiring the mic the screws there's the the radio itself actually i don't know if there was a bracket with this crap or was yeah actually i don't think there oh no it's right there i'm blind there's the bracket although i do i will say the title on this is wrong it doesn't match with what's on the box what's on the box the 50 the f uh, 5011, that is what, that is the radio that was in there. Um, obviously you can tell I did a sell similar listing of some other radio and didn't actually pay attention to what the title was. So, and this one I did refund him $5 on the shipping, um, because I put 15 it came out to about 8 it came out to 8 something um, so I just gave him, I gave him 5 bucks back. Uh, and these both, I, uh, both ended Friday, well, this one's Saturday morning, and then I packed, dropped them off at uh, the UPS store, and that's where they're sitting uh, until they are going to get picked up either today or tomorrow, because it's Labor Day. Uh, I did forget about uh, that, so not that it mattered with these, and this one's going to actually going to New York. I want to say it was the Syracuse area, so this isn't going far at all. Uh, but like I said, both of those got them out of the dumpster, threw them up for parts, and uh, someone... Uh, like with the other, like with this one, he'll make some money. Um, uh, he'll make some money. I make some money. It's out of my hair. It's his problem now. You know, everyone wins. So that's enough talking about those. But that, that definitely was great. Um, to see how that ended. Uh, next is Onondaga County um, Department of Corrections patch, nine ninety nine on that one. And then if I remember right, this it was the same buyer who bought the three. Um, other New York ones, and I listed this the next day. Yes, it was the same guy, because these the total for these came to twenty dollars, and if it was a and if it would have had this on it, it would have been enough. I would have upgraded it to a uh, first class shipping instead, but um, that's just how it worked. Uh, next we got an NYPD patch. This one's uh like an American flag kind of one, six ninety nine in that one. 
uh, Green County, Ohio Regional SWAT. Uh, $7.99 on that one. That was a nice one. This one, uh, this little New York State Correctional Services little hat patch. This I received a message from a guy in Spain who wanted a quote on what it would cost him to ship or what it would cost to ship to Spain. I told him two bucks, which is um, about right because the the global forever stamps themselves are now I think a dollar ten. I bought them before the price hike, but I don't remember what they actually cost, so I just assume. So I just go with the dollar ten for when I'm calculating out my shipping costs. So I usually just call it two bucks if I'm doing it uh, just the stamp way. But if it's like a lot of them, depending on how many there is, it'll be about two. To, it's like two, I usually do two fifty if it's um. If there's a lot that uh, I'm putting together, or if it's individual ones being bought together as a lot, uh, and it's going with pretty much what I'm trying to say is, if I'm paying for the uh, actual tracking, it'll it's usually like two fifty. Uh, next, New York State Police Automotive Maintenance Unit patch five ninety nine on that one. Uh, next is a little LA County Sheriff with a little extra string on the top for some reason. I don't know. Uh, Anne Arundel County uh, EMS Fire Rescue, $5.99 on that one. Uh, Yuli Volunteer Fire Department in Florida, $6.99 on that one. Uh, next is University of Southern California patch, $6.99 on that one. I have two of them. Uh, this sold actually fairly quickly. Yeah, I listed the fourth and it sold overnight. So, yeah, late late on the 4th, and it sold overnight. Uh, shipped this out this morning, and I, ha I have two of them. I relisted, um, I redid the listing and put the other one up today. We'll see if that sells. Uh, these next two sold together, the Santa Barbara, Keller, Santa Barbara, California Police, and the Santa Barbara County Park Department patch. I have two of these, as you can see, one sold. Um, there is watchers on it. I sent out offers on it uh, earlier today, so we'll see if that goes anywhere. Six ninety nine on that one, so that was good. Those two together, and then this is what sold on today. Uh, sold today that I'm looking at uh, in front of me right now that I have to pack up. This Bristol, Virginia police patch, uh, Centennial eighteen ninety 1890 to nineteen ninety, seven ninety nine on that one. That's a good one. Uh, New York State Police Academy, six ninety nine on that one. Uh, next is a Bemis Point, um, Bemis Point Fire Department, which is in Chautauqua County. I uh, have one for myself, and this one I sent out an offer on, 15% off, 5.94, and this and it, uh, he accepted pretty much within 10 minutes uh, on this one. And as you can see, I have two other ones, two other ones, and I have one, and I kept one for myself. I'm pretty sure there's four. Um, this was a, like a little hodgepodge of some, uh, patches, and then this was in there, so that's why I bought the lot to begin with, uh, to have this for my own collection, because I had, I had this in my cart, and, uh, it never, I had it in my cart, and then the seller stopped carrying it and put it in with this lot, so, that's why, uh, so that's why I ended up having to buy the lot. So, uh, next, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania Police, four ninety nine on that one. And that is it on things. That's it for things that sold over the last, or uh, everything that sold over the last week. Next is a couple little, two little inventory things. On um, this lot of U.S. police patches, uh, I've been eyeballing up for weeks and had watched hoping that the buyer would send me a um, discount never happened and I was getting to the point where I'm running really uh, kind of low on inventory so I just bought them to be done with it and then there's this one that's coming tomorrow this little lot of 25 uh, nothing special in here a bunch of Philadelphia ones some more Pittsburgh ones so Baltimore, Maryland State Police, you know, nothing special in this one. Other than this Kansas City, Missouri crime scene investigation, that's a pretty cool one, but. Uh, so this will be here tomorrow. Oh, there we go, Prince, or Prince William County. Uh, so this will be here uh, tomorrow. So then I have some things to list. 
while I wait for this to come in. This should be shipping out tomorrow. And then I'll be all right on inventory. Uh, market's been really, really light, especially in the fire patches, really light. Although there was a listing on the 3rd that I ended up, um, that was listed on 3rd, and I didn't end up picking it up because I wanted to wait till the 4th uh, to buy it. So I ended up screwing myself and ended up selling to someone else because it was super cheap. So, um screwed myself on that one for the fire de that was a lot of fire department ones because uh, I was trying to get away from so much police inventory but it's but it's uh all that's really been coming up and then I saw uh, my uh, $25 um, store credit that you get with eBay for having uh, the store level I have I spent on these uh on these uh, little four by four by four boxes, uh, I got these because I had I picked up that big lot of Niagara Falls um, fire department pins, so I figured I'll get these little boxes for the pins, and uh, I'll put the pins in these boxes that I'll put, and then I'll put those in a bubble mailer, uh, just uh, so they'll be uh, all right. They should be fine doing it that way. So that is it for uh this week we will have to see what next week brings um which we'll kind of just have to see how it goes uh now that i'll have that i'll have some inventory i'm kind of running out of things to list which is uh the problem at the moment like i really don't even i sc scrambled for some things today but i'm really hoping for uh this to come in so i can have some things to list uh, and hopefully some good inventory will pop up this week. That's uh, the biggest thing. But other than that, that is it for this week. We'll see you next week.